Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create our project. When you create a new project, you can go ahead and select C Sharp. All platforms is fine. And then let's select a web. Go ahead and uh, select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Hit Next. Let's name it. I'm going to name mine Quick Blog. Go ahead and set your desired location and hit Create. Now let's ensure that we have .NET Core selected as well as ASP.NET Core 3.1. If you have earlier versions of .NET Core installed, just don't worry about those. Go ahead and select 3.1. Let's make sure that Web Application Model View Controller is selected and we're going to change the authentication to individual user accounts. That's everything we need here, so we'll go ahead and hit Create. So one of the first things I like to do is separation of concerns. So one of those concerns is data. I like to create a new project for data and put my application DB context in it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll right click on solution, add new project. And this time we're going to go with a class library, .NET Core. So make sure that uh, you can search for that up in here. This is just my recent templates. So uh, select that, hit next, and then name it after your project, but then add dot data. Okay, we can delete this class. All right, and then let's add one more new project. Same thing, class library dot net core, next. Name it after your project, and then add dot service. also delete this class. Since we created this data project here to move this into, let's just go ahead and grab this, drag and drop it in there. When you look at it, you'll see that the namespace already matches the project, so that's good. Go ahead and let's clean this up and add in the stuff that we need. So if we do that, um, let's see. We need an IntelliSense to catch up here. There we go. Bring that in. And then as well as Identity Entity Framework Core. Okay. So we're good there. Since we have that inside of our data project now, we can go ahead and just delete this data folder inside of our main project. Okay, since we deleted that and we moved application DB context out of our main project into our data project, if we click on startup, we're going to see some issues here. So right away, you'll see that data doesn't exist. So we'll get those all cleaned up there. And then we just need to add a reference to the data project that we created for that. there. Now another thing I'd like to do is configure my app settings.json and my app settings.development.json. So one of those configurations is taking out this connection string and then moving that over to development. All right. And I also like to clean up the name a little bit because it's right now just GUID. So I will rename the database to quick log.dev save that. Jump over here, make sure this is saved. We're done with those. One other thing that I like to do to kind of clean things up here is I like to separate the services and the configure methods and I like to extend the application builder and the service collection and this step isn't necessary at, at all. It's just something I like to do just to organize my projects and further down the line if I add in custom services, which we definitely will, or custom configurations, it's something that I can throw into a different extension method. So I'll show you how I do that. Go ahead and clean some of this stuff up. All right, so add a folder called configuration to your main project. And then let's add a class to that folder called app services. 
right, I'm going to bring this down to the side here so that we can see it better. Add in static to the class. And again, we're extending the service collection here. So go ahead and create a public static void. And we will call it add default services. And we're extending it. So we need this. And then I service collection. Not it. Service. We'll just call it services for now. Okay. And then we can just go ahead and copy all that over, drop it in there. Now we'll have to add in our usings. And we have configuration, which comes from uh, startup here. So we'll go ahead and bring that in too. So go ahead and toss a comma in there and let's bring in I configuration and configuration. And we'll see that goes away, but we still have one more issue. We need to use entity framework core. All right, now in here, now all we have to do is do services dot add default services and pass in our configuration. Okay. Uh, something else I like to do is um, let me go ahead and extend this out. I like to go by a certain naming convention. So we'll make this named after what it is exactly and we'll make it camel case. So service collection and this one I will just rename to have a lowercase c. And we are all done with app services. But we are going to do the same thing for our uh, configuration. So I'll name this one app configuration. Okay, make this a static class. this down here off to the side. So we also need to do a public static void add default configuration. And we're extending the application builder. So go ahead and do this I application builder application builder. And we're also going to need to take in this web host. So go ahead and bring that into web host environment EMV. And just to make things easier, I am going to temporarily have this named app. That way we can just copy all this stuff in. Okay. We need to bring in our hostings for the extensions to do that. Now we can just rename this as desired to application builder. And likewise, um, web host. And by, hold on, iron it. There we go. I can spell the things. So we're good there. And then we just simply app dot add default configuration and then pass in email. There we go. We're all cleaned up in our startup. We can separate out defaults and customs. All right, so the last thing we need to do is bring in our uh, CSS, JS, and some other things from the theme that we downloaded before, the Bootstrap theme. So go ahead and open up your download folder for that. We'll bring in this vendor folder. Just drop it straight into the root. Uh, we'll also bring in this image folder, drop that into the root, open up your CSS, drag and drop that into the CSS. And last one is a JavaScript. Go ahead and drop that in there. Okay. So that's everything for getting set up. Let's go ahead and rebuild.
and then let's just play it and make sure it launches and works okay yep so this is a default template for ASP web apps just has a register and a login page home privacy nothing special all right and that's everything so the next video we'll go over actually building out the home page for our blog and we'll cover some topics like MVC and dependency injection maybe depending what we have time for